this notion of literacy as multiple, as being more than one thing, as being historically contingent, as being connected to power and identity, as having something to do also with, with identity. So I want to review with you just a bit um, the two readings you had last week. The one by Sylvia Scribner on the metaphors of literacy and the one by James Paul G. on literacy as a secondary discourse. These two pieces in different ways um, do the same thing. That is, they, they kind of complicate commonplace understandings of what literacy is. Uh, Sylvia Scribner does this by pointing out the ways in which there are conflicting notions of what counts as good literacy, while some would have it that literacy should be functional and help us get through our everyday lives. Others think of literacy as somehow connected to empowerment, uh, while others view it as somehow making us better people, helping us achieve a state of grace. And it's Scrivener's point that none of these ideas are wrong, and in fact, if we want kids to be uh, fully literate, um, we would capture those, all of those metaphors um, in their schooling in some way. So by offering these, um, or juxtaposing these different viewpoints on what's important about literacy, she helps us understand its multiplicity. Jim G., uh, on the other hand, um, situates thinking about literacy within this term discourse, and he offers to us the idea of of identity kits or ways of thinking, feeling, being, and acting in the world. Multiple ways of doing those things. Um, and of course, literacy he sees um, as a part of a secondary discourse. And we all participate in many, many secondary discourses. That is, we all take on different kinds of identities, whether it's mother or sister or student or skier or musician, um, we have a whole panoply of identities, and with those identities, we have specialized uses of language, in, including written language and other semiotic systems. So he offers us this way of thinking about literacy as a multiple construct. So as you do your field work, and as you begin to go and visit schools and after-school programs and other educational settings, I hope you'll uh, take these ideas about literacy and um, see how you can apply them. See which of Scribner's metaphors fit. And um, perhaps you'll see that we need to invent some new metaphors to account for um, how literacy is taught and learned in these settings. Or you might be alert to the ways in which students participate in a whole range of, of discourses. And you might be aware of how these discourses permeate or don't permeate classrooms.